Well, hey everyone. My name is Andrew. I'm the lead pastor here at the Crossing Church in Costa Mesa. And I just want to say a quick hello to any of you who are maybe new watching us or maybe you've been with us online for a couple of weekend services. And, you know, one of the things we've been doing in our series is every Thursday morning I've just been sharing just little bits of good news, things that God is doing in and through this place that we call The Crossing and through many of you and just how God is moving today. And so today I got more stories than I have time to share. And so I'm going to move kind of quickly through these. Uh, but I just want to start with our VBS experience this past week. Now, VBS may be something totally new to you, but it is a kid's experience throughout the week. This year, what we did it is we did it virtually, and so we had a Monday through Friday experience for kids of all ages. And I was so excited that we had over 40 kids sign up for this online VBS experience where kids got to connect with other kids, kids got to learn, they got to grow, and also they got a chance to have some great fun. And as the parent of a six-year-old and a five-year-old, I want to tell you how meaningful things like this are for me. So all of you who volunteered, I want to say a quick thank you for being part of what God is doing here and for continuing to serve in unique ways in this season because you blessed over 40 families this week and I am just so grateful for each and every one of you. In fact, this past weekend, I got a chance to share the stage with my oldest son, Evan. And that is just a memory I will treasure forever. As he got a chance to share some of the highlights from his summer, his favorite superpower, if he could have any superpower, what would it be? And then also he got to share a fun story that was unplanned of uh, a time that I made him cry when he got hurt. And what dad doesn't want their six-year-old sharing in front of hundreds of people a time he made a mistake and made them cry. So thank you all for your just hospitality and for welcoming Evan and just for your encouragement for him. He had a huge blast on stage and so I want to say thank you for that as well. Now on top of that, one of the things that you may or may not be aware of is every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we invite some of our homeless friends on this campus for a meal and to do laundry and just for some hope and encouragement. And over the past few months, I have been so excited by how many of you have stepped up and been willing to serve and make sandwiches and serve and help and serve and pray with a lot of our guests to the point where now we are continuing to expand our reach beyond this. And we now have people delivering food to places. We now have people serving at soup kitchens as well. I mean, what God is doing in and through each of you who have stepped up and served is just remarkable. And so I wanna say a quick thank you Boy, I am so glad to be part of church that doesn't just talk about faith, but that actually puts it into action. And that's what you've been doing over these last few months. And so I am just so grateful for each and every one of you. Now, last thing I want to share with you is uh, over the next couple of weeks, we have some exciting news. You know, a few weeks back, I shared that we were going to, going to be pausing our on-campus experiences and we were going to be primarily online only for the next couple months. And one of the things I'm so excited about is we've figured out some creative and innovative ways where over the next couple of weeks, if you feel comfortable, and I know not all of you will feel comfortable, if you feel comfortable, we're gonna have a chance to gather for some worship and some inspiration. We're gonna have a chance to gather outside to, for some watch parties and watch some of our services. But we have figured out some creative and safer ways for us to gather together and continue to grow in our faith. You know, one of the things we say all the time at The Crossing is like, we want this to be the place people go to explore faith and experience the life-changing ways of Jesus. And in fact, this past weekend, we saw that. This past weekend, we had a chance to baptize four people. We got a chance to baptize one kid, two students, and an adult. And I'll tell you what, the stories out of this week's baptism were just remarkable. We had two students who have been lifelong attenders of the crossing, who have gone through this journey of faith and they've arrived at the conclusion that life is better with Jesus at the center. And so this weekend we got a chance to baptize two of them. We got a chance to baptize a kid who has made a public declaration of faith in Jesus. He wanted to get baptized in March, but now we've had the chance finally to baptize him this past weekend and celebrate all that God is doing in and through him. And then last but not least, we got a chance to baptize an adult who's pretty new to our church, who showed up at one of our small groups, thing called Alpha, which is the perfect place to ask questions about faith, to do that thing that we just talked about, explore faith. He got a chance to ask questions, get connected to Justin, our grow pastor, and they had a chance to meet 
and eventually he crossed the line of faith and this weekend he went public with his faith and we had a chance as a church to just celebrate that. So I want to say thank you for all that God is doing in and through this place and thank you for those of you who call the crossing home. And I cannot wait to see you this weekend and share some exciting news with you. Enjoy everybody. Take care.